Oh my. Holy crap. Holy smokes, does that blow up. Oh my goodness. I guess it wouldn't be a night fishing video if it didn't start off with uh, some top water action. Now, I didn't leave you hanging in suspense there. My GoPro froze right as I was going to land that fish. That was a great way to start my second trip of night fishing. Now, I'm no stranger when it comes to fishing after dark, from trolling for walleyes to fishing for catfish along the river, I mean, even bow fishing for carp. So I've pretty much been strictly a bass fisherman for the, the better part of a decade now. And the one thing I haven't done is gone out and fished from like late evening till two, three o'clock in the morning. Usually I stay out until the top water bite dies down and then, you know, I head in and, and call it a day. I already have three night fishing trips under my belt. Today's Tuesday. Uh, I took the day off because I had a river smallmouth trip scheduled. However, it got canceled from all the rain we've been having. The, the river's completely blown out, unfishable. So I figured I'd take a little time this morning to talk about my night fishing trips. I got a couple things to get caught up around my house and then I'm, I'm heading back out tonight for trip number four. Now I was gonna go out last night but it was my wife and I's 18th wedding anniversary, and I've been married long enough to know that probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Although I did consider it. Anyway, um, before my first trip, I get online, I did a little research, kind of come up with a plan, and my plan was to fish topwater near some structure that I wanted to, to fish once it got dark. And right away, I found fish, and I was getting bites like crazy. Oh yeah. That might be a good one, or he's stuck on a tree. There he is. Huh, there's another one. Now one of the issues I've had fishing after dark is actually keeping the fish hooked. When they jump, you can't see them, you don't know which way to, to move your rod to keep the line tight, and they spit the hook. Fish on one. Fish are off. Another one. Oh, he got off. Oh, yeah. Now, the second issue I have fishing after dark is I didn't go overboard with lighting on the boat because I read that you should keep it as natural as possible, you know, keep from spooking the fish. But I've had some pretty epic fumbles, you know, trying to take the hook out once I have the fish inside the boat. That's a large mouth. Ouch. He gone. Heavy. Oh. Ridiculous. Wow, he's fat. Ouch. Kinds of noise you're gonna spook all the other fish away. I don't know if you can see that. That's number 11, I think. Yeah. I 
Okay, when it comes to bait selection, I kept it real simple. I had the top water bait rigged up and I rigged up three other rods, two of which basically are the same bait, just different sizes because I wasn't sure what depth I'd be fishing in. Having a YouTube channel, everybody sees what you're throwing, where you're fishing. So I decided to leave you in the dark about what specific baits I'm throwing. Now, I can tell you they're big. I'm hoping by throwing big baits, I'll catch quality fish. You know, it can be tough through the day, especially in the dog days of summer to get those big fish to bite. Now, having said that, it doesn't always mean if you're throwing big baits, the fish are gonna be big. <laughs> oh my. Let's hope they get bigger. Huh, the camera's all screwed up. And the bugs. Yeah. There well. It's a start. Wish they were bigger than that. More little fish. Getting a little bigger. However, the big boys also like the big baits. Oh yeah! There was, <laughs> there was just weight there. Money, 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 money. Come on, land this fish. Land this fish. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. All right, don't be a jerk. All right, let's get that out of the way. I'll deal with that later. Tangled up here. Great. We're getting there. I'm gonna throw that down. Take my secret bait out. I don't wanna show you what I'm catching these on, you know? Oh yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's good fish. in the net. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. Sweet. Boy, he was hooked good. There you go. Check that large mouth out. <laughs> that is going on the scale. that say oh, just shy of five pounds yeah right there is what we're after
thanks for watching and I'll see you later.